this every week, don't you? Don't you? <clears throat> yes, with Lily. Ah, of course, with Lily. I wonder if she ever left the school without her. As I just said. Uh, it doesn't seem like much at first glance, but her lack of dis dis eh, dependence on Lily is absurdly heavy. If she can't even handle leaving the school without her, how would she have managed to survive if, she, if the two had never met? That is a good point. But, I don't know. You never know. Maybe they're close like that. I don't know. I, I can't I can't say. I'm only looking at it from the point of view of, I guess, mine. And I guess this house. But uh, as a guy as well. Because I don't know. I'm not saying that. I'm not trying to be sexist or anything. But women do have a tendency to be able to hang out with each other more. And just not to worry about anything, obviously. Because there's no guy that, that might like her or whatever the fuck. There is no worry. It's just two girls hanging out with each other. But I guess from a guy, I guess that's different. I don't know. Someone tell me how the fuck. The mind works. I don't know. Women. Not playing. Uh, would she have found someone else to latch onto? Oh, and what drew her to Lily? Why? See this out. Why, why do you? Th why do you think it's about you know clinging on to Lily? Why isn't it just oh hey they actually get along with each other so that's what they're hanging out? So I think he, he. I think he's looking at it a little bit too deeply into it. But maybe he's right. Who knows? But I don't know. I can only speak for myself. So judge me. Durr. Was it her lack of eyesight, or was it Lily just kind of, kind enough to let her hand? I wonder if anyone uh, would have felt, fit the bill. Well, I'm here. Besides, we're not going too far. <coughs> we're not going far. It'll be over before you know it. Naga, uh, Naga slowly regained their, their color as she tries to hide a small smile, but the effort of that seems to prevent further conversation. We travel side by side down the winding road. I fucking hate when there's no conversation. I have to say it. I hate when there's no conversation. I understand there's moments like, oh, it's just you two enjoying um, the view or whatever, or the scenery. But I, I fucking hate when there's like no conversation going on. It's weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it's weird, man. I don't know. Uh, the crowd of students uh, fades as we continue along the sidewalk. Faster students rush ahead, and the less mobile ones fall behind. We're firing the crowd into nothingness. Oh hey, it's a 7-Eleven! Oh hey! I'm sorry, Aurora Mart. It's a 7-Eleven. I can never say that word. The A-U-O-R-A. -A, the Aurora. 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 Fuck you, people. By the time we reach the co convenience store, we are practically alone. Oh shit. Dude, this looks so delicious. Where's the sake at? Moto! Where's the sake? Come on, come in here. Alright, right, 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 it's cool. Um, that's a weird ass clock though. Is that like a sundial? No, no, no. What the fuck a sundial? The fuck? <laughs> no, uh, huh. I don't know. Moving on. Using me as a shield between yourself and the attendant, Halako moves through the narrow aisles, adding an assortment of items to her basket. Grand milk, tea, thyme. What the hell is thyme? Let me look that up. I'm sorry, I have to look this up. Thyme. What the fuck is thyme? Time theme? Is that like condoms? Imagine! Oh my god! You're buying condoms? Who the fuck are you sleeping with? <gasps> That'd be funny as fuck. Did you see that kind of shit? I don't know, but. I don't know. I've always, like. Play, while playing this. Uh, I don't want to say game. Novel. Reading the novel. I I'm always wondering, like, how would this be if it was an anime? You know, like, anime tends to be a little bit wild. On the more wild side and what have you, but. Uh, I don't know. Kinda of weird. Oh, thyme is a all right. Thyme is any of several species of culinary and medical herbs of, of the genius. It's this kind of green p stuff. I don't know. Huh. So it's like healing herbs, I guess. All right, moving on. What kind of convenience store sells herbs? Oh, okay. Thanks, Estelle. Then again, nothing about the sound seems normal, which may not be such a bad thing in retrospect. Everything is so different and uncomfortable. Dwelling on such matters isn't really an option. When I think about that, it reminds me of Nako. No matter how much you try, you can't escape her scars. Come on, dude, you don't have to think. <sighs> Moving on. They still interpret my train of thought when I see them. They don't have to, Asal. They don't have to! <sighs> as much as I don't want to admit it myself, I think I force myself to try to ignore them. Why? I understand they'll be like, hey, hey, what happened with your scars? No, obviously there's a fucking story behind that, but you don't have to fucking. Dude, come on. You don't have to think too much into it. Like, no. No, I, I don't know. I, 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 I'm personally saying, like, I, I don't, I wouldn't see that kind of, that kind of stuff. Like, if someone, like, you know, it's the same thing, like, oh, oh what color was your friend or whatever the fuck, which I know, a weird thing to say that. You know, I, I, there was an episode of Simpsons where, um, I guess Bart was hanging out with a girl, 
And, um... I, I guess I think it was Marge that asked him, like, Oh, hey, uh, what kind of what, what kind of color was she, whatever the fuck? White or brown or whatever? He was like, I don't know, I didn't see it. She was like, good boy. It's like, yeah, dude, you don't have to notice, you know, why why give a characteristic to someone? Just be like, oh, hey, I'm hanging out with this girl. I'm hanging out with this guy or whatever. And, didn't, you know, she just happens to have scars. Cool. Whatever. You don't have to think too much into it. And I have to say something because I know there's some people that are darn new to the series are gonna watch this episode and not look back into it and just say what the fuck is this cdp this is so fucking stupid or oh the scars in her face that's disgusting dude fuck you dude you're a dick if you're saying that kind of shit honestly just fucking i don't know i hate those people that that can't be open-minded to certain things i know people are gonna be like this is stupid or what have you and i can't do nothing about it to stop them but i, I just grow up Dude, be mature about this. This is a serious kind of novel. You know, I'm trying to have... I'm having fun with it as well, but I, I hate when people just judge that kind of shit because I've had friends who to me saying, why the fuck are you playing that? It's like, because it's an enjoyable story. What, what the fuck are you talking about? Why am I playing it? Why are you being a dickhead, you shallow piece of shit? But uh, I'm not going to get into it. Moving on. I just hate those kind of people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to go all... Oh, I'm sorry to go all, you know, Hulk on everyone, but yeah. Moving on. Not that I have a scar for myself, the jag line down my sternum will never completely fade away. I just had the luxury of being able to hide it easily. But, in a way, both of our scars remind me that we're all in this place for a reason. Da -da -da. Yeah, you were thinking about it too much that she just left. Oh, good job, Hassel, good job. Well, I got there's one last item to her bass and then cheapestly holds it on to me. One of the few uh, banknotes, the b banknotes, the fuck? Could, could you please... It takes me a second to understand what she's trying to say. Oh, you want me to pay for this? She nods and doesn't look up. Hey, what the fuck? Is taking me with the bell? It's alright, alright, it's alright. I guess this tech falls into Lily on the on the usual occasions. Sure, let me just grab a couple things. Hastily, I grab a few essential items for myself. You know, boxers, condoms, um... What's the vagina dodo? There's a dodo that's like a penis and there's a dodo that's like a vagina. If you don't know what I'm saying, this sounds fucking weird, but look it up. I'm fucking telling the truth. Um, but yeah, and I have the counter with an agate in closed toe. The tenant gives me an indifferent nod as he scans the items. I suppose just ignoring us in one way to deal with the <clears throat> anomalies of uh, Yamaku. Yamako or Yamaku? Fuck it all. They must get a lot of students here, being the closest sort to the school. The staff must have their own way of dealing with us, or maybe they don't. Maybe it's only me that thinks twice about my unique schoolmates. Dude, you're unique too, dude. Just, you know. Come on, bruh. Come on. Our transaction is complete. <sniffs> By the way, if I sound weird, I'm sorry. I'm kind of sick. <clears throat> I have flames, which is disgusting. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm a piece of shit, but... Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Our transaction complete. Hanako and I head back onto, head back out onto the street. The road is pretty much abandoned now. The students that were headed out have already left. And nobody has started returning there just yet. And... With only the school ahead on the road, there doesn't seem to be anyone else around. The emptiness certainly reflects on Hanako. Her arms by her sides, each carrying a bag. Her head no longer by. Hey, man, hold her bags! God damn it. And back to the upright position. It's almost as if she was enjoying this walk. So, why are all, why all these weird things? I'm gonna have to. Uh, have to the volume's gonna be low for you guys, maybe, the, uh, like the novel wise, but for me, it's like loud as fuck. Sorry. Uh, sure. So why all these weird things? Mixed spice? Why would you need that in school? I sometimes like to make food. Oh, she's a cook. Or she likes to... That sounded sexist. Uh, YOLO! Well, yeah, so do I, but spices? That's just a little more advanced, don't you think? Not really. Well, I think it's cool. You'll have to teach me one day. Oh! Shit. Sure. <clears throat> sure. She doesn't seem to mind all that she doesn't seem all that sure, but pushing the point doesn't seem all that wise. At the very least, she seems great a great deal happier than she did on the walk down here. That alone makes you a little happier. Yay. Outside the girls' dorm, Hanako and I sort out the grocery bags without respect to purchases. You can't <laughs> bitch, you mean your purchases. Correct yourself a sal. 